Oh my god. Since the day that Smash Ultimate dropped, I have put in, I think it was 43 hours into the game already. And that was like technically two and a half days. I'm playing the game a lot. Smash Ultimate has really blown away my expectations about what it means to be a Smash player and just everything about the game and just the history of all of these characters and just everything about the game. It's gonna be kind of a, I don't wanna call it a review, but just my initial thoughts on the first weekend of Smash Ultimate. Right off the bat, I will say that don't play the adventure mode. It's nice that they put it in the game for a single player experience, but it's really not worth all the time to be put into. I spent an entire day pretty much beating the entire adventure mode. Honestly, just go out and YouTube the CGI trailers it's not worth the, what, 12 hours I put into, like, the second day of playing Smash just to get a glimpse to see if there was anything cool in it. There really was not. I'm gonna get a little bit more nitpicky here because I think that even though this game is impeccable and really good, there are still flaws with it. I'm actually concerned about the art style, the way the game looks. It is definitely very stylized, but I feel like Smash Wii U kind of looks better in the sense that it will age better i feel like smash ultimate after 10 years down the line it's gonna look kind of wonky just i don't know something about the game and just the way the characters look kind of looks a little bit off to me like it looks good but i just have a feeling it won't age well versus wii u where i think wii u's lighting may be better in certain specs and certain aspects kind of it's i can't really put it into words but uh, wii u also had like this very unique art style where i think that it's very hard for it to not look good and not age well versus where i think ultimate might look bad but who knows i i hope that i eat my words and of course the matter of the online now i don't know why nintendo decided to make preferred rules not exactly work they kind of work in regards that they eventually you'll find a bunch of 1v1s that you're eventually looking for but it's super annoying that it throws you in with four player free-for-all matches what's even worse more about the online functions of it is that there's no set for glory if you will uh mode to play online which yeah, it's, it was for glory and it definitely had its problems, but it definitely, at least, you knew for a fact that if you go in there, you're gonna get 1v1s, no items and whatnot. Like, already, I played some really weird games, like a couple free-for-alls, which I, that was no buenas, I didn't enjoy that, and then just varying degrees of just different 1v1 rules. Some of them were okay, but I had one match where it was two stock for two minutes. That was super weird, and it definitely ended in a sudden death, which, like, two minutes is definitely not long enough for a two-stock match. I also had a game where I think it was, like, six minutes and, like, two or three stocks, something like that. Battlefield only or whatever. It was, like, a legal stage. The other person had Smash Balls on. No other items, just Smash Balls. That was also very, very weird, and I didn't really like that, seeing as I lost a stock based on the Ridley I was playing just got the smash ball wall it, the smash ball just popped up right in front of the Ridley after he knocked me off stage so uh, there was no way I was getting that smash ball and he took a stock off me because he used the smash ball on me so that wasn't very fun either luckily I won that game so it was okay I just hope that either Nintendo makes a dedicated 1v1 mode for players that are looking for competitive or at the very least, which this will eventually happen, I'm hoping that the competitive scene will eventually standardize the format for what Ultimate is, because we don't know if it's going to be two or three stocks, or if it's going to be five minutes to six minutes to seven minutes, we just don't know. But at the very least, once the uh, competitive scene finally standardize the matches, then everyone can just set the parameters to that and it'll be a-okay. Now I'm gonna do a fast lightning round on characters that I play and what I think about them and 
Oh, I think. Oh, shout out, computer. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the changes from their Wii U counterparts to now, and just overall general how I feel about the character. And another character that I kind of want to talk about, but I'll get there in later. So, shout out, computer. Let's begin. Bowser still feels roughly the same, and I don't really see any problems with it. I like his side B animation, though. That looks really nice. Ice Climbers, they're super fun, and all honesty, out of all the characters that I played, Ice Climbers seem the most nice to play. They just flow very well. I really enjoy playing them. While it's super nice to have Snake back in the game, I feel that everyone has improved movements and just more mobility, that it's really hard for him to camp efficiently, but at the same time, you can still do it, just it's a little bit harder. But Snake is really fun to play as. I've heard a lot of people really not liking the new Sonic, but I personally really like this iteration of the Sonic, mostly because I really like homing attack, and a lot of his combos end in homing attack, so I'm pretty happy about that. Thank God they buffed DDD. As someone that played DDD heavily in Wii U, I cannot express how much I love DDD more. I had a game where I was fighting a cloud and he was going to win, but he limit breaked uh, uh, neutral B right in my face and while I was sucking with DDD, so I sucked that in and spit it right back in his face and I won the game. It was so cool. I love DDD in this game. Villager feels great. He feels roughly the same. I really like him. I haven't played too much of Wii Fit Trainer, but I really want to play more of her. I played her in the Wii U version and she was very weak, but this Wii Fit seems really, really strong. All of her moves seem to neck actually it's weird to get used to the new uh, volleyball soccer ball mechanics that she has with her side b but i'll eventually get it her deep breathing may be akin to cloud's limit breaker from wii u so that's freaking incredible and she just seems really fun to play as robin feels very very weird to me a lot of his early combos don't work anymore so it's a matter of figuring out how he works but he feels very odd to me. I'll just have to get used to him. Bowser Jr., while he did, in my opinion, get nerfed, he still relatively seems to play the same. Now on to the new characters. I love King K. Rool. He's everything that I want him to be. I feel like he's going to get nerfed, though, because anytime someone is at in red percentage, all King K. Rool has to do is ground him with a down throw and side smash, and they pretty much die instantly. I definitely feel like that's going to get nerfed, but he's so much fun to play, and I love him. Isabel is a very very odd character, but I really like her kit. She's definitely a zoner, but her kit is very fun to use, and I just enjoy playing her quite a bit. Wrestle Cat! He is so much fun to play, though I don't think he's that good in all honesty. He has a lot of trouble getting in, which he doesn't have any range attack, so that makes sense, but once he does, he messes you up. Again, though, it, he can't really get in, and his recovery is bad. I think he's not very good tier-wise, but I think he's super fun to play as. So those are like 11 or 12 characters I've been playing as in Smash Ultimate, and they're all really, really fun. I really enjoy the game. I will have to say, though, that there's one, you could say two characters that I've been having a problem with a bit, and those are the Belmonts. I'm super glad that the Belmonts are in this game because it was a long time coming and they needed to be in this game, but their kit is really ridiculous. They are definitely top tier in my opinion. I had a game where I was playing a snake just trying to zone the other Belmont out. I think it was Richter and I could not camp him. I, I Believe me, I don't even like camping, but I tried to camp him out because he was camping me out, so I could not get near him. He would do side B cross to just short hop air and the cross going at the ground level and the Richter doing short hop fair covering the shorter distance of the cross, but still being like enough where it's going to catch you if you jump. Like I, 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 I couldn't move. I could not get away from the ledge. I couldn't approach him. It was problematic. Like there's nothing you can really do to nerf the characters that will that unless you drastically change how they play which i don't think that they should because that's probably how the belmont should play but their zoning game is absolutely ridiculous and i don't know if they will get nerfed or not regardless though i think they're probably maybe the best characters in the game without a doubt they're really really freaking good <sighs> There's a lot of characters to cover in this game. A lot of characters. Oh, and real quick, I guess uh, I'll touch a little bit about Joker. Definitely did not see it coming. I'm sure nobody on the internet has made that joke before. Interesting choice, but uh, not a character I'm particularly interested in. I'll try him out. Probably won't play him, but I'll try him out. And that's been my weekend experience with Smash Ultimate. But what are your thoughts? Are you guys enjoying the game? And who do you guys been playing? And 
there are any problems that you do or do not like with this game, I'm very curious to know what you guys would think. So that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.